Yeah, this is Swan 40 uh, teragram, this Sparkman Steve has designed Swan. As you can see, the rudder has been modified and in fact uh, has lost part of the skeg at the bottom here. You can see where my finger is pointing. And they've increased the size of the rudder itself to provide more grip. Three bladed uh, feathering propeller, typical wine glass shape with a fin and skeg arrangement. I don't know if you can see the pronounced tumble home on the sides there. The boat has been resprayed. You can see, hopefully from the photographs I've got here, the hull is in extremely good condition. View of the port side, and as you can see, the boat has now been shrink-wrapped uh, to deck level. Uh, very nice job and they've also provided a good air access so that the shrink wrapping doesn't sweat too much. Again a quick view of the keel and the underwater sections which are in very nice order. At the aft end of the boat, self steering gear and the Bimini arrangement. Running slightly forward to the wheel the engine controls. You can see that the teak deck is in remarkably good condition and of course she benefits from relatively new winches and a beautiful paint job that they've carried out on the top sides. Looking forward to the companion way there. Some of the electronics, port hand primary winch running back to the main sheet track and the side decks. Now, as she is shrink wrapped you can't get huge access to the forward decks uh, but you can see that they have been painted. The boat has been left in a very much laid up state and has been very professionally laid up by knowledgeable, not a knowledgeable sailor. Now, this is Teragram's saloon and interior. I'm looking on the port side. It's a hanging locker just by the companionway. Slightly forward of that, as you can see, is the chart table area, the batteries and ancillaries have been left on to make sure that everything is looked after properly, you can hear the beeping of the alarm there. Looking slightly forward into the main saloon itself, you can see the uh, port pilot bunk, saloon berth, Taylor's solid fuel stove, beautifully made and in excellent condition, nought or saloon table. And then moving to starboard, you've got the starboard saloon bunk with the stowage above, showing off the Koto, hopefully. The Koto finish the with the graph, obviously, on angle of the galley, showing the uh, galley arrangement, which is fairly standard for the Swan 40, including the stowage. You can see the Honda outboard lying on the floor. Moving aft, showing the stowage area, the fridge, cooker obviously, workspace area, again stowage, and then the aperture to the starboard aft bunk, companionway and port aft bunk. Uh, there is quite a lot of kit on board the boat at the moment because it's all stowed down below. Uh, it needs, feels nice, warm and light and most of all dry down below. So she should be snug for the winter.